Hey everyone, it's Super CV Art here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a printer in Rec Room with CV2. So let's get on to the video. So, once you're in the room that you want to start creating your printer, get out your makeup pen, click Create, go to Gadgets, CV2 Gadgets, and spawn in two pistons. You're going to want to detach. You're going to want to configure the chips for both of them and detach them from the piston. Once you've done that, you're going to want to set up these pistons like I am here. One going forward and backward, the other one going left and right. Just like that. Then you're going to want to wire this, the base of this top piston to the rod on this bottom piston. Like that. Once you've done that, you're going to want to get four CV2 buttons. So go back, click Create, Gadgets, Button V2. Spawn in four of those. Just like this. like that. Go back in here, click, click circuits v2, search chips, and search up for the if. Get the if chip out and spawn in four of those. One for each button. Just like that. Now that we have all this set up, let's begin programming this to move around when you use these buttons. So, um, We'll do the forward and backward one first. So for the forward, that's this chip for the forward, you're going to wire the press on this to this if right here. Just like that. The execution on here. And then the boolean, wire that to the is pressed. And then that will sense if it's being pressed. Wire the then to this first one, which will be play, and then once you've done that, wire the release to the stop on it. Let's test this out. Nice! Works perfectly. Now that we've done that, we need to make it so this button makes it go backwards. So, kind of the same process as the other one, is press is wired to the condition on a different if chip this time. The execution is wired to press, but this time wire the then, instead of wiring it to play, wire it to reverse. And then just like before, wire the release to the stop. Let's try this out now. Yeah, look at that. It works. Now I need to make it to be able to go left and right. So, for these two, when pressed, still the same as before, wire it to the execution on the if, on the boolean condition, wire it to the is press, release, wire it to stop on this chip, the other piston, not that one, not this one, um, and then wire the then on this one to be reverse. Oh, there's so many wires right now. Um, the is press wire that to the condition on a new if chip, the execution to the press, and then the release to the stop, and then the play on that then of the new chip. Let's test this whole thing out. Backwards, forward, right, left. There we go. So, just to be able to see this when we're not actually using it, go into shapes, draw a cube, just a small cube here, and then, done editing, wire it to this rod right here, just like that. Now, let's try this out. There. Now we got it so it can move around. Now, like I said, this can't be a printer. I can do only do that real fast. So, let me get out art canvas. 
and a marker. If you're going to make it a printer, you can actually get rid of this block. Replace it for a marker. Get it facing straight down in front of this piston. Oops. Not what I meant to do. Get that back up here. There we go. Wire that to the piston. Just like that. Move this right below it like that. And then when you move this around, it draws on it. So that is how you make a printer with CV2 and Recum. Hey guys, thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video comes out. I try to post every week, so expect a new tutorial next week. See you later!